Today we're going to be talking about making a payment. Payments are the way your organization records any expense it incurs. To do this, we're going to start at the register for our checking account. From here, click the payment button in the top right. It will turn purple when you mouse over it. This screen will bring up the payment record. First, select the account to be credited. This will typically be the operating checking account. Next, select an existing payee or, if necessary, add a new one on the fly. After that, enter the date of the payment. This will generally be the date on the check or the date on which an electronic or card transaction occurred. Then you can add a description. If your description will be the same as the memo, you can leave this blank and whatever you type in the memo field will also appear under description. After that, put in the number. If it is a check, use the check number. If it is a card payment, you can use CC or DB to represent a credit or debit card. Then, put in the total payment amount. Down below, you can select the expense account or accounts to be debited. For the example, we'll pay for office supplies. Half will come from uh, church supplies and half from copier expenses. In the memo field, the top memo will fill in the description field since it was empty. From there, if it is a check, you can press the print icon to print the check now, or you can set it up to go to the payment queue from where it can be printed at a later date or sent out as an electronic payment for those who have added integrated payments at the plus tier and above. In the payroll check video, we will look at making a paycheck to an employee who has been designated as an employee as opposed to being a minister. That's how you record a check or payment. As always, I hope God continues to bless your ministry, and if you have any questions, we're available to help.